<laughs> Eric has the sniffles today, but he's going to drink a Sculpin to make himself feel better. We're going to need a bigger boat. Hey, Beer Cats, I'm Paulette and I'm back. Yes, she is. And I'm Eric and I've always been here. Consistency. That's what we're about. Yep. Also today, hops. Hops. <laughs> so it's an IPA episode. Yes, it is. <laughs> and we're going to have Vallis Point Sculpin. Woo! Good. I think they heard you all the way in San Diego. All the way at the end of the ballast point? Yes. All right. The most ballast you can be. We're starting with a pale ale and then we're going to an IPA so we can talk about how one led to the other. It was a journey. It was a journey. So in 1703, English brewers came out with a beer that used lighter malts. And at the time, all the beer on the market was dark. So when they poured this out and it was paler, they just called it a pale ale. Hey, that makes sense. All the sense in the world. All the sense. And then IPAs came about according to legend. Because when the English were sending their beer to India, they had to extra hop it. And so it became more beer. Fact checking. <laughs> legend checks out. Well, there's some debate as to whether or not that's true because they sent their supporters. Of there the can be no debate. It's true. You heard it here. <laughs> they sent their porters and their stouts without extra hopping them, and they made it just fine. So uh -huh. it was probably hopped when it got there, which is a process called dry hopping. Why isn't it just called hopping? Because you've already hopped once. <laughs> <laughs> Why not hop some more? And then you get an IPA. The name IPA came about from an Australian newspaper running an ad that said they had an India pale ale coming to India. Mm, journalism. 1829. And that's where that term came from. So Sierra Nevada, our old friend, is back. Mm -hmm. After you guys did that vertical tasting last week, how was that? It was tall. <laughs> this tall. Do you like your barley wine? I do like my barley wine, but just barley. The pale ale that Sierra Nevada makes is the American standard for pale ales because they were the first ones to reintroduce it in the 1980s. Um, they kind of brought about a resurgence of pale ale, something that was a little bit more bitter than macro lagers. And so this is where we are. Right. It's uh, slightly darker oh. than, you know, a pale lager. Color. It's got important. A bit, got a bit more hops in it. And uh, let's taste it. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, our audience knows how much I love IPAs, uh, which is not at all. And I think as a pale ale, this is a really nice not so aggressively bitter option. Before I became a beer snob, <laughs> um, I was not very much into Sierra Nevada. I thought it was just too much. I thought, felt like I was drinking metal, but liquid, kind of like the T-1000 from Terminator. Fact check that. Um, but now, since my palate is more mature, um, I tend to enjoy beers like this. I, I, I taste the bitterness and yeah. the hoppiness, uh -huh. but not so much to where it's like, oh, I don't want to ever drink this again. No, right. now I'm a big boy beer drinker and I enjoy this. Yeah, pales are not IPAs. They are slightly more bitter than um, a cream ale or a lager, <sighs> but they are restrained in that hoppiness. <laughs> Speaking of restraint. I did not restrain myself when drinking this beer. All of it is gone. Surprise. It's good. Let's talk about hops. Hops are a major component of beer making. And sculpin. <laughs> There's three things they impart. Bitterness, flavor, or aroma, depending on when they're added to the beer. So hoppier, bitter beers get those hops early in the boiling process. Okay. When you smell more of the aroma, they're added later in the process. That's not to say you can't have them both at the same time, and some hops actually do both of those things, or th all three of them. In your sculpin over here, uh, I, I got this because it's Eric's favorite. Yes. <laughs> as far as an IPA is concerned. Yes, it is. Um, so it didn't really matter what we used as an example of an IPA in comparison to the pale, but it's Eric's favorite, so why not? It is a very good IPA. It is the IPA that turned me to IPAs because before, as mm -hmm. I said, like I wasn't really into... Uh, before your palate matured. Yeah. Before my palate became a 67-year-old man with money. And a Jaguar. And I, <laughs> yes. Uh, so we're going to drink this now. 
So this has a high number of hops added during the boiling process when you get that bitterness. And are you smell? What are you smelling? I'm smelling the deliciousness that is the aroma of the gods. <laughs> so there you go. You got a pale that's slightly bitter, and then you've got an IPA which is much more bitter. And then you can go off the deep end and talk about doubles and triples, and we'll get to that in a future episode. But for now, let's drink this. IPA stands for it's fucking awesome. You actually won't see a lot of American uh, IPAs called India Pale Ale so much anymore. <sighs> Because they've got nothing to do with India. <laughs> so it's just an IPA and people know what that means. Uh, that's good. That was the IPA and pale episode. That it was. Did you enjoy it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was a dumb question. Yeah, There are no dumb questions, only dumb answers. This is better. <laughs> Stay tuned for next week where we actually cover what an English IPA is in comparison to an American IPA. Oh, I'm going to say that the difference is one's American and one's... Turkish? Uh, remember what we said about hops? Yeah. We'll be returning to that. Oh, I thought we were talking basketballs. Catch us wherever you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> That's right. That is a thing that exists. It's on the interwebs. You uh, can catch us there as at Bureaucrats TV. We're that handle across all channels. And we also have our personal accounts on those channels. That's at PFont, yes, right? Yes, I am. And you are? At Lord Fonz with two Zs. Two Zs. The extra Z is for xylophone, <laughs> even though that starts with an X, but we're not grammar, spelling, hard. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In the meantime, catch us every Wednesday at 11, where we drop more of this beer knowledge and beer shenanigans. Beer shenanigans knowledge. <laughs> That's the new word. Cheers. Cheers. I'm drinking this now. Hey, bureaucrats, need more bureaucracy in your life? Here are two more videos you should watch.